Alright, let's do this! Ha! What up, B Geeks and Dudes and Dudettes? My name is DB Geek. Welcome back to another video. And welcome to the first episode of Dragon Ball Heroes right here on the channel. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me about Dragon Ball Heroes, asking me to check it out or whatever. But, you know, I haven't been really that interested in it up until now you know obviously with the new release of an anime an official one i begin to show some interest in this now everything dragon ball of course i'm interested in so don't get me wrong there it's just that i wanted to steer clear clear from the stuff just in case you know there's spoilers or anything else for the upcoming anime so you know my knowledge of dragon ball heroes is slim to none all i know is that dragon ball heroes comprise of a load of what if kind of characters and you know transformations and scenarios that we can only dream to happen in an actual official dragon ball anime so now that we're actually kind of getting an anime it's very very exciting and today we've actually got the preview yes the first official preview for dragon ball heroes episode one the anime set to release very very soon and i know before you guys ask yes i will be doing a reaction series to it when it drops of course so that's something to get excited about for not just you guys but for me as well considering it's something new something fresh and something just full of awesomeness considering the characters that are actually going to be in this so i am very very curious very 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 curious indeed but now i'm going to check out this preview right here on the channel i'm going to react to it i haven't seen it yet so i'm pretty hyped about it now from my understanding of from what i've heard and it's been all over the internet the first episode is going to consist of sort of something pretty climatic something that i didn't think i'd ever ever see in the world of dragon ball and it's actually going to be animated and brought to life super saiyan 4 goku which is just insane because we all know that's a gt character versus a goku that we're all too familiar with super saiyan blue so we're actually going to get a decider between a massive what if battle between two climatic powers and that is super saiyan 4 versus super saiyan god blue so this is going to be super interesting and i can't wait obviously i i'm super excited about this because this is something that only fans theorize about and you know debate with one another from the gt fanboys and the dragon ball fanboys to see you know who is coming out on top so you know i stayed away from spoilers and leaks and everything else for for this upcoming anime you know because for myself i don't want to ruin this stuff i don't want to be spoiled i want to be surprised i want to get excited for the first initial release of episode one but now the preview is here, of course I gotta check it out, of course I gotta cover it. So I'm gonna react to it firstly and then we're gonna break it down and talk about it. And give you my opinions on it when it comes. So, without further ado, let's watch Dragon Ball Heroes. Whoa, straight off the bat! Whoa, are those planets wrapped in chains? We got trunks in this as well? Okay. Okay, I've seen shots of this guy, a new villainous Saiyan. No subtitles, unfortunately. Okay. Dude! Vegeta's in there? Not sure who he is. Oh, Vegeta! Oh! Oh, no. That's, that's literally all we're given. Wow. Okay, of course we gotta break it down, but let's talk about it first. Alright guys, so as you've seen, it was only a 30 second preview for the upcoming episode, and what we got? Pretty exciting stuff. I mean, my first initial reaction to it, what did I see? Of course, an epic beam struggle between those two iconic forms of Goku, Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan God. Now, I think some people have said that it's not actually called Super Saiyan 4, it's actually Zeno. Goku or something like that. Um, he's like a time patroller or something. This, this is just all stuff that I've seen from um, from other stuff and from other content. Um, so I'm not really sure there. Like I said, my knowledge of this is very slim to none. But, you know, what a way to start off the preview. I mean, that that is so cool and it's actually being animated and brought to life. I mean, I'm already excited about that. And then we have a shot of Trunks and he's like in chains. He's a prisoner. Not sure what's going on here. I have stayed away from the spoilers, so... You know, I know you guys are probably dying to type down, DV, how do you not know about the storyline? Like, this is what's going to happen in the first episode. Like, I don't want to know what's going to happen in the first episode because I want to be excited when I'm going into it. And, of course, like, what else did we get? 
we got a shot of Vegeta, we got another shot of Goku, we got this new villainous Saiyan, um, what's his name? I think I've seen or heard his name somewhere, Kanba or something like that? I'm not sure, I know it's the Japanese translation for Cucumber, so you know, Saiyans and vegetables, so there's no surprise there, but he looks freaking badass, and from what we've seen, it looks like he's, I don't know, he's in Super Saiyan 4 or something, when he breaks out of that, that um, vest that he's wearing, um, so, I don't know, we have to break this down, because I need to see it again, and I want to pause it, I want to talk about it, because it's so interesting, so, let's break it down. Alright guys, so welcome to the preview breakdown screen, we're going to be talking about this, we're going to pause at certain scenes, because it's too epic not to cover, so let's get into this. Okay, so straight away, we have Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We're all too familiar with this Goku, we've seen it many, many a times, and Goku has utilized the form to its highest degree. But, when we get to the next shot... We have Super Saiyan 4 freaking Goku. I mean, who would have thought such a battle would actually be animated by the official creators of the show? So, you know, I'm already super excited about this. I mean, what a beam struggle. I mean, I know this is going to be epic. I Well, I hope it is, anyway. And if we keep playing here, then... There it is. There's a clash between two iconic power levels. That is so cool. And it seems that this particular Goku here, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, is wearing an attire that I'm not too familiar with. Um, I'm not sure I've ever seen Goku wear something like that. But obviously, this is a separate anime, separate story, and separate everything else. So, I'm very, very curious. But I absolutely love this. This disperse of beams here. This energy from this clash. Like, that is so cool. We play then. And then, this, you know, this has definitely sparked my interest. I mean, only in Dragon Ball will you see a group of planets wrapped together in chains with a lock on it. Like, I don't know what the purpose of that is. Is this, like, planets that have been taken prisoner or... Wait, let's take that away. Is this planets that have been taken, like... I don't know, for hostages? Like, a global hostage situation? Or a universal hostage situation? I don't know. I mean... We got some interesting planets there, but I don't see the purpose of the change. That That is just so, so cool. Let's keep playing. Alright, so this is our first shot of Trunks. And as you can see, he seems like he's a prisoner. He's wearing like a prisoner uniform. Very, very cool. It's great to see Trunks again. Can I just add that? I love that. I love Trunks in Super. I love them in Z. Just seeing him again, you know, makes me so happy. But he's got some sort of restraints on his wrists here. I think it probably something... That keeps him in his cell or something like that. I'm not sure. But it seems that someone's either breaking him out of his cell. Or he's being released somewhere. But we've got some sort of... I want to say city? I don't know what this is. Okay, so we come into the next shot. This is where we're introduced to this new character here. And he's in a straight jacket. A very, very cool looking character indeed, I must say. Uh, I mean, look at that aura. It's obviously a villain. I mean, this doesn't give any more villainous vibes than I can even think of. Like, this is crazy. He looks so good right now. Well, let's keep playing here. Now, this is this is the craziness here. Now, he's obviously going to break out a straight jacket. And if you look closely, it seems... Alright, I'm going to go back just a little bit. Just a little bit more. If you go back just here now oh okay actually no never mind i i was going to say i think he's in super saiyan 4 state but as i look closely here he doesn't have fur on his arms i think this is just his attire i was nearly sure it was super saiyan 4 because of the neck here it seemed as if it was it was all fur um and the hair you know it seems as if it's super saiyan 4 but i was wrong he's just incredibly buff i mean he is broly size he is broly size which is crazy so keep playing here we come to another shot we got our boy jeets here which i'm very very happy about and of course you got goku and he's rocking a different sort of attire slightly different to the one that we're used to and i'm not sure what logo that is i think it could be capsule corp maybe not maybe it's something else maybe it's something to do with i think time patrol I'm not sure. Like I said, my knowledge of this is very slim. And, of course, just a disclaimer for you guys. I've never played the Xenoverse games. So, will you stop popping up? I've never played the Xenoverse games. So, obviously, my knowledge of that is very slim as well. So, alright. So, next shot then. Alright. So, we have Drunks here. He's... She... He, okay. From, obviously, from this shot here, I didn't get this from my first initial reaction. But, we have this aura. Obviously, this aura, if we go back to the other saying. I think it's somewhere back here. It's similar to this aura here. So I'm guessing Trunks is 
you know, jumping out in front to save his loved one from this Saiyan. So if we keep going forward here, just to this shot over here, there we go. Okay. So, and look at that. He just blasted back. Now, look at this shot here of Goku. I mean, we love where Goku, you know, un unleashes new powers or whatever. But this is super interesting because we can't see his pupils, for one. Which means he's either tapping into something or he's tapping into a different power source or he's r enraged or whatever. I mean, the last time we've seen something like this was when Trunks in the Goku Black arc achieved Super Saiyan Rage. Um, his pupils completely disappeared and he just looked like incredibly badass. But this is something similar, but the aura is, is completely different. It's very, very golden from this shot anyway. And now he's powering up and he still can't see his pupils, which is okay. Actually, if you go back there, I mean, I love breaking down stuff because you really see, you really start noticing things. But if we can just pause it at the right moment, which is going to be very difficult to do. Okay, right here. We can see the Goku, he's got some sort of black, I don't know what it is, black lightning or black aura or something. So whatever Goku is actually tapping into here, it's not something pure. It's not something light-hearted it's definitely something a little bit on the dark side um considering the eyes have disappeared and everything else i don't know what's happening here but i mean this is episode one and this is all the shit that we're getting which is crazy and this is only 19 seconds into the preview we got another 11 seconds to go let's keep playing here all right so we got another shot of my boy jeets he's wearing he's wearing a very different armor actually not very different but not something that we're used to and i think that is the capsule corp logo no it's not it's slightly different i could be wrong you guys need to let me know in the comment section. Um, but whatever this aura is, it's coming from the evil Saiyan. And Vegeta is fending it off. So obviously we have Goku, Vegeta and Trunks here. And they're all going, you know, head to head with this new Saiyan. And of course my boy Jeets in there representing the Saiyans as always. Now this character here. Now as far as I know, I think this character appears in the Xenoverse games. I'm not entirely sure. Because um, he seems familiar. And uh, I know my brother has used to play the Xenoverse games a lot. So I think I may have seen this character while he's playing the game. Now, I could be wrong. So let me know his name in the comment section, guys. I would really appreciate it. Alright, and here's another shot of the Evil Saiyan. I mean, I have to say, like, I love this uh, design of the Evil Saiyan. I think he looks super cool. He looks so badass as well, I might add. And the red eyes, I mean, it really brings it all out, you know? Alright, so, and then this is it. This is a big shocker right here. I mean, first of all, the very start of this preview, we have Super Saiyan 4 versus Super Saiyan Blue, which is, you know, that's freaking Dragon Ball on steroids as it is. We get a brand new Saiyan that's like Broly level sized and just so badass looking. We have my boy Jeets in there. We have my boy Goku in there tapping into some sort of dark power which is crazy we got trunks is back which is so cool and now we got this we got vegeto we got vegeto again dudes this is crazy this is just this blows me away dude and he's powering up here and he's i don't know this is a totally different look for vegeto considering that goku both goku and vegeto are both wearing different attire so obviously the outcome is going to be slightly different so keep playing here and that's it that's it and it ends right there so there you have it dudes the first of july is going to be the first episode of dragon ball heroes and all of that shit is going down you know this is going to be hype and i can't wait it's going to be awesome so there you have it dudes that was the new preview for dragon ball heroes episode one and wow that's all i can say about this dudes i mean there's a lot of things happening here in such a a short period of time considering that this is one episode which i'm guessing is going to be about 20 25 minutes long and we get goku versus goku super saiyan god blue versus super saiyan 4 which is just insane we get vegeto in there we get this new saiyan with an incredible power we get goku tapping into some sort of dark energy i mean we got trunks is back i mean there's a lot of stuff happening in the first episode of heroes and it's going to be interesting on how are they going to explain this how are they going to you know throw this in now i know it's probably not going to have anything to do with dragon ball super maybe it's just going to dive straight in to the anime and you just kind of have to guess how it happened i don't know i mean there's a lot to do in one episode for all of this to happen and this is a preview so this is going to be interesting maybe it's just a brand new story a different parallel world or universe 
that all of this stuff happens and it has nothing to do with the world that we're currently familiar with in Dragon Ball Super. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Like I said, my knowledge of heroes is very, very low. And I've never played the Xenoverse game, so my knowledge of that is very low as well. So it's all speculation for me. So let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this? Are you excited for Dragon Ball Heroes? Because I know I am. Anything Dragon Ball related gets this dude super excited. Um, I want to know your thoughts on the preview. Are, are you excited to see these two actually clash it out? Two forms of Goku, very iconic in their own respect. Like, it's going to be so cool to see that. Do you like this new character, this new evil Saiyan? Like, what's his deal? I mean, let me know your theories down below. I'd love to listen to him, and I will comment back as well. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. I'd super appreciate it. And of course, if you want to be a part of the reaction series and join me as I react to episode one of Dragon Ball Heroes on the first of July, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you will get notified as soon as it drops and you can watch it along with me. Anyway guys, like I said, that ends it here and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Dragon Ball Heroes video. See you later dudes!